There will often be times when you don't want to reveal all the information or content on your slide at once. Being able to control when content appears on a slide can give your presentation a better flow and keep your audience's attention on the content you want them to be looking at, instead of having their eyes wandering around, looking at or reading other parts of the slide. For example, I have this slide here of new hires, and let's say we want to have each photo appear one at a time instead of appearing all at once. Start by selecting the object you want to have appear first. I'll start with this image here on the left. Next we'll go to the Animations tab, and here you'll select the type of animation you want to apply when the object appears on screen. Click this down arrow to see more effects. In this case we want to stick with these entrance effects. So for example I could select Fly In, and we see a little preview of that occur. Or I could try Split, or Wipe. Now you can also click More Entrance Effects and that'll give you a list of additional entrance options. For example, I'll select Float Down, and I think I like that, so I'll click OK. Now, some effects have options to customize their appearance or behavior. If this Effects Options button is available, you can click it to see what properties you can change. In this case, I can have the image float up or down. I'm going to keep it set to down. And you can also adjust the duration over here if you want the animation to be quicker or slower. And that's really all there is to it. Now we just repeat this on each object that we want to have appear. I'll select the next image, and I'll apply the same effect. Again, I need to come to More Entrance Effects, and select Float Down, click OK, and again I'll reduce its duration a bit, and we'll do the same with the third image here. Now you can of course apply different effects to each object if you prefer, but in this example I think consistency is better. Let's go into slideshow mode and test this out. Alright, so here's how my slide will look when we first come to it, and then I'll press the spacebar, and we see the first image appear, I press the spacebar again, there's the next one, and there's the third one. One more click takes me to the next slide. Now I press escape to leave slideshow mode. So that's basically it. As you saw, anything you don't add an animation to will appear on the slide right away, while the objects you added animations to will appear in the order in which you set them up. However, you can also change the order of the animations if necessary. With the Animations tab still selected, I'm going to click Animation Pane, and that pops open here to the right. And this allows you to see the order of the animations, which by the way are also known as builds, because you're building the order of your content appearing on a single slide. Now it's a little difficult to tell which is which here because they each say Picture Place or Picture Place Holder, but if you look next to each image, you can see a number letting you know their current order. So if I wanted the one that currently appears second to be first, I could select it, and here I can either click the up arrow or I can choose Move Earlier to move it up, and notice it now has a 1 next to it while the original first image is now 2. And again I can go into slideshow mode, and when I press the space bar, it works in the order that I've set it up now. Now lastly, you can also have objects disappear on screen, which can be useful if you don't want them there distracting your audience from other content on the slide. So just as an example, I'm going to select this text box here at the bottom, and in the Animations tab, I'll go to the Exit section, and I'll choose Fly Out, and we can see how that looks. Over here in the Animation pane, you can see that it's now the last thing that's going to happen on this slide, but we also know that we can change the order if necessary. So now if I go into slideshow mode, my single slide works like this. But in this case it doesn't really make sense for that text to disappear, so to remove a build, just select it in the animation pane, click the arrow next to it, and choose Remove. And now it's just a regular text box again that will already be there when I get to this slide in my presentation. Alright, so that's how to create and modify object builds on your slides.